Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are Hello, you? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. 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 Very good. Okay. Hi. That sounds Hi, fine. Excellent. Sounds excellent. Okay. No, no rain in your house. Repeat. No, no rain. There is no, no rain. No raining. Not raining. No. Okay. No teacher. Okay. Good. No. So that means that we have a a good weather these days. Oh, there is not too much change. Okay. Today we have. Okie dokie. Okay, this one's much better. Okay. Um, this is not the one that we are looking for. Oh, uh, this is the one. Oh, it's still loading, it's very slow. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. It's ready. Okay, so we have Samuel, Reina, Brandon, Jocelyn, Ivania, Oscar, Lillian, Daisy, 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 Esperanza. Jenny, me, and Marta. Okay. Let's get Hi. started. <clears throat> We're going to go to the section five. Okay, yesterday or last night, we were with the hours display on the watch, right? And the time, we were practicing the time, remember? Okay, these were the times. For example, this is the, these are the hands of the clock. Okay, the hands of the clock. Okay, the hands of the clock are the manesillas, right? The hands, the hands of the clock. And they have, for example, this is the hour, and these are the minutes. So it's 2.20. Okay, it's 20 after two. So you can see what time is it? It's uh, 20 after two, or it's 2.20. So you can use the two, all right? So we have this one. Then you have the hour is pointing to the seventh hour, okay? This is the seventh hour, and then we have 50 minutes, Okay, 50 minutes, and then we can say it's this one, 10 to seven or 6.50, 10 to seven or 6.50, okay? What is the answer for the number two here? A, B, C, or D? Which one will you choose? A is 10. 
Uh -huh. The first one, right? It's 10, 10. Sorry. It's 10 to 7. That is correct. This one? Okay. Okay. It's 10 to 7. Okay. It's 650. Yes. Okay, accepts the two possibilities. Okay, let's see if it accepts the two possibilities. Okay, good. Next one. What time is it? It is. It is 8.45. Huh? It's 8.45. It's white tonight. It's? Where is tonight? It's a quarter to nine. That's correct, Milagro. It's a quarter to nine. Okay, the two forms. Okay, so we have two and two. Good. What about the next one? The number three. And uh, number four. What time is it? It's five. It's five past eleven. Eleven. This is one. <clears throat> what else? It is eleven oh four. Two. It is eleven oh five. Oh five. Mm -hmm. It's five past eleven. It's eleven oh five. All right, good. Number five. What time? It is three fifteen. It's a quarter past three. It is three fifteen. It's a quarter past three. Okay. <laughs> Next one, what time is it? It's half past four. Half past four. No, no, half no. past four. No, four. It's four time. It's four thirty. 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 Four thirty. Yes, good. Okay. Thank you. Without. Thank you. Mid. We have all of them correct. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to practice here. For example, what time is it? It's 20 past two, or it's to 20. Okay, in the next one, what time is it? It's 10 to seven, or it's six. to seven, or 6.50. The next one, what time is it? It's 8.45 or it's a quarter to nine. It's 8.45 or it's a quarter to nine. Okay. Next one. Uh, what time is it? It's Five past eleven, or it's, it's eleven past, five. Five past eleven. It is eleven oh five. Yes, Esperanza, very good, nice. <laughs> Next one. What time is it? It's three fifteen, or it's a quarter past three. It's 3.15 or it's a quarter past three. 
six. What time is it? It's half past four. It's 4.30. It's 4.30. Okay, questions about the vocabulary, expressions, pronunciation? Okay, then we're going to move. This one might be, <clears throat> by the end of this, um, this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in just no questions and WH questions. Now we're going to practice with the questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about <clears throat> rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences but in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? <clears throat> well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling follow. In general, we can follow Okay, so here what you have to remember is that if it is a just a question, the final sounds go up. You say, is she getting, is she getting up? No, is she getting up? Okay, is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? So this goes up. Remember that in English, no hay este acentos, right, o tildes. Okay, no hay tildes, así que uno dice, ah, aquí se va la fuerza de voz, okay? This is just, se llama intonation, right? So this is intonation. Para el, el tono a una pregunta dice, ¿va a venir? Es no lo mismo decir, ¿va a, ven, ¿va a venir? O, ¿va a venir? Okay, él va a venir. Y la otra es, ¿va él a venir? So dice, ¿va él a venir? En Spanish también lleva una entonación de pregunta, right? They say, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Okay. When you choose that what, where, who, why, when, the WH questions, then the intonation goes down. They say, what are you doing? No, what's she doing? Okay, what's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? No, what are they doing? 
Okay, now, what are they doing? Okay, is she getting up? What's she doing? Is she getting up? What's she doing? Is she getting up? What's she doing? Are they sleeping? What are they doing? Are they sleeping? What are they doing? See, up and down, up and down. Okay? Flying and racing. Falling and racing, yes. Say rising, for example, rising up, up. Falling, down. Oh, there's two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, up. is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, this is for example when you see a TV program, cuando vean un programa de los que a usted le gusta, si tienen la oportunidad de verlo en inglés, pongan atención a esos detalles, right? Cuando hacen las preguntas, and then you can do it. Teacher. Yes, sir. Para mis compañeros, alguien que quiere algún video de alguna serie, y yo en mi computadora tengo bastantes series que están traducidas tanto como a inglés a español. Si alguno de ellos quiere algún video para estar practicándolo, puedo subir uno para que lo practique. Oh, okay. De todas formas, también en YouTube hay bastante, ¿va? pero yo decía por si alguno quiere una serie en específica, como yo tengo bastantes sí. series viejas. Lo, lo, ajá, lo que sucede es que, fíjense que sí, lo que sucede es que por cuestiones de derechos de autor yo no puedo presentar muchas cosas acá, como estos videos los subimos a YouTube. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando yo lo convierto y lo subo, entonces él hace, un, hace una revisión automáticamente de YouTube y si hay algo que, que requiera <coughs> derechos de autor, entonces eh, no dejan subir el video. No, porque uh -huh. sí, hay una, una gran variedad. De hecho, este... Eh, les voy a poner ahí en el chat. No, yo decía que yo lo voy a subir a Drive y el que quiera el video, pues lo descargue de ahí. Ajá. No, ahí en, en YouTube, como les... sí, pues sí, mire, sería una muy buena idea. De hecho, este creo que es sería, bueno, para mí está bien. Yo creo que y el que lo quiera, este, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh descargar o verlo, pues creo que es una muy buena opción. Es que hoy tenemos, digamos que eso es lo, lo, lo mejor de hoy en día, que tenemos una gran variedad de, de ¿cómo es que se llama? De videos. Ah, pero ahorita no puedo porque tengo que estar presentando. Este, que se pueden ver, por ejemplo, hay uno que se llama Learn English with, uh, y ahí aparece el nombre con Friends, por ejemplo. <coughs> y entonces, este, Ahí aparece la primera, aparece todo en inglés. Pero, y todo el video es en inglés. Solo que primero aparece en inglés. Luego aparecen, las, les van explicando el vocabulario nuevo. Y van aprendiendo todas esas expresiones. Les voy a poner un, un video para que lo vean. Y el, luego ustedes pueden ir ahí mismo. En ese mismo link pueden encontrar oh, cientos de, de videos sobre ese tipo de práctica. ¿Ok? Que les va a ayudar mucho. Pero sí, este es If You Can... Si lo puede hacer, pues sí sería muy bueno que lo comparta. Totalmente de acuerdo. Ok, good. Then let's see the next one. This is rising and falling intonation. We have this one says instructions, listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no and WH questions. 
and select the correct intonation. Okay, here you have to see if the selection is falling or rising. Falling or rising, in case it goes up or if it goes down. Eh, I'm going to play it. Se lo voy a poner dos veces. La primera vez lo escuchan. La segunda vez pueden ir respondiendo y la tercera revisamos. Ok. Perfecto, abramos entonces. From the drive. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Okay, again. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Okay, one more. The last one. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. <clears throat> what time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Okay. What is the first one? Are you wearing a coat? A falling or rising intonation? Falling rising. or rising? Rising. Rise in intonation. Okay. What are you doing now? Falling. Falling. What time is it? Falling. Falling. Is it midnight? Rising. 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 What color? What color is this? Is his t shirt? Rising. Rising. Rising? Yes. Yes. What color is his t-shirt? Hmm? Falling. Rising. Rising, falling, falling, rising. Falling. Okay. Falling. Are you from Thailand? Rising. 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 Rising and tenation. Okay. Okay, good. There you go. Are you wearing a coat? Up. Are you wearing a coat? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? No, what are you doing now? Okay. What are you doing now? Uh, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Is it midnight? Is it midnight? What color is his t-shirt? No t-shirt. What color is his t-shirt? No, what color is his t-shirt? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Yeah, there you go. Okay, remember, yes, no questions, up. Information questions, go down. Rising and falling intonation.
Okay, good. Next one. Uh, Milero, would you please read this uh, lesson objective here? Excuse me, teacher. Would you please read the lesson objective? This one. Read it. Lea. Mm -hmm. By the end, um, by the end, the class, you why you will be you able, are, you are. In, by the end of this class for the Y, that I'm where present continue. WH questions. Uh, WH question continues. Ordinary dual practical conversation. Way good between between. Oh boy, as the mother and um, mother why illustrates illustrates double questions in context. In context. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, right? Pressing continues WH questions and practice a conversation. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from a question that is important. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of comment. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word. What? Then we have a verb to be. Is. After that, we have the subject. Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then of course you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answer them. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City. 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. 
Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's, so I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Do it. It's for that. We have this belies the first one. What's Victoria? Plus some kind of compliment. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's add them. Okay, so that's like the formula, right? To to write the, the WH questions. You say WH words, verb, what, the verb, the subject, and the verb in ING. Okay, that's what you have to follow, and then New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're Let's listen and repeat. Okay. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. This is, for example, Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. Mexico City. 6 a.m. Mexico City. What's Marcos doing? 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So it's, he's getting up. It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. New York City, what 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom, doing? and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. They're having breakfast. Ok. Claro con esas tres preguntas para comenzar. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. What is Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So he is getting up. Uh, what are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. ¿Se entienden? La pregunta es general, right? What is Victoria doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Victoria? What's uh, Marcos doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Marcos? What are Sue and Tom doing? Okay, what are Sue and Tom doing? ¿Qué están haciendo Sue and Tom? The next one. Brasilia, 9 a.m. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? What's Celia doing? She's going to work. She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. So they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. Moscow, What's Andre doing? 3 p.m. He's working. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? What's Permsak He's doing? He's eating dinner. Right now. Right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? 
What's he's Hiroshi watching doing? Television. He's watching television. Your city. Now your city would be San Salvador, right? San Salvador. It's uh, what time is it now? It's twenty. It's eight thirty-five. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, it's eight thirty-five. So I am working. Okay, in your case, you can say I am learning English. I am studying English. Okay, I am having dinner. What are you doing? It's so I'm. So the last I'm, thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Oops. So. No, it was not out, it was just escape. Okay, fine. Okay, look at this one. Some countries that I'll have. Yes. After this video, we have some others. What time is it? Remember telling the time. And you didn't write sentences. And then we have now the rising and falling intonation. And then we have now questions with what are you doing? Okay, here. Now we can see this picture better. It's a mejor. Okay. We're going to practice with this one. Okay, what is... Um, what is Celia, what is Celia doing? Look at the pictures. What is Celia doing? What is Celia doing? Anybody? What is Celia doing? Look at the picture. What is Celia doing? In the work. She is in the uh -huh. work. She is? In the work. Learning sight. Okay, remember the answer. What is, the, what is the answer? The question is, what is Celia doing? What is Celia doing in the work? No. Okay. Working. Um, remember this. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to action that is in progress. For example. Okay, look at this. What is Victoria doing? She's sleeping. Uh-huh, she? She's sleeping right now. Okay, she's sleeping. Okay, what are you doing? She's sleeping right now. What is Marcos doing? What is Marcos? It is, I don't know, so he's getting up. He's getting up, okay. What is Marcos doing? He is getting up. 
Okay, what are Sue and Tom doing? They are telling breakfast. They're having breakfast. They're having breakfast. Están desayunando, right? They're having breakfast. Okay. Oops, no. That was not the one. Sorry, people. What are you doing right now? To form now, if you see, if you take a look at this picture now, you can tell, for example, what is a, for example, what is Tom doing? ¿Qué otra cosa está haciendo Tom? Aparte de estar desayunando. What is Tom doing? Only Tom. What is Tom doing? He is speaking. Okay, very good. Nice. You can say, right? He is speaking. Okay, what else? Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. Okay. ¿Cómo se diría, él está sonriendo? He is smiling. Okay. He's smiling. What else? Okay. Thank you. Okay. What else? What else? ¿Qué más está haciendo? He's speaking. He's smiling. Looking. He's looking at what's her name? Oh, I lost it. He's looking at He's looking at Sue. He's looking at Sue. What else? ¿Qué más está haciendo? ¿Puedo utilizar aquí la lista de verbos que les envié? Okay, he's looking at Sue. He's speaking. He's um, smiling. He's wearing. ¿Cómo se diría, teacher? ¿Cómo se diría partiendo? He's wearing a white shirt. Okay. He is hatting. He's. Oh, no. Right. Parte está ahí. Cortando algo de comida, right? He's cutting his food. What else? He's cutting. He is watching her. He is looking at the girl. He's looking at Sue. He's looking at Sue. Look at the eye contact. Okay, what else? He is, else is he drinking. Doing? Drinking water or coffee? No. Coffee no la está tomando. Solo es que está haciendo. Watching here. Looking. Looking at the girl. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, looking at the girl. Looking at Sue. Okay, looking at Sue. This one. Ya está acá. Okay, watching es como vigilar, observar. Okay, and the girl and Sue? What is Sue doing? Sue is looking, looking at Tom. Now she is 
she's drinking, right? Yeah, yeah, see, she is uh, drinking coffee, maybe, I'll be huh? Coffee. What else? She is. Holding the newspaper. Okay, she's holding the newspaper. She is talking to. She's talking to to to. Tom. Okay. Um. They are. They are sitting, están sentados, right? They are having breakfast. Están desayunando. Eh, they are talking, están conversando, right? Fíjense cuántas oraciones se pueden sacar de una sola imagen, right? They are talking. Uh, what else, what else, what else can we say? Only, okay. There may be some others. Now, what you're going to do is, looking at those pictures, Pueden ver las imágenes, ok. Y escribir oraciones acá. En el chat. Eh, usando los nombres de ellos, right? Just, uh, ¿Tienen la imagen a la mano? O, no, no. Le podemos tomar una... Captura de pantalla, right? And then copy. Okay, there you have it in the chat box. You can check your WhatsApp and then you can take a look at the picture. Okay, and then we can write sentences here. Uh, for example, you can use, uh, let me see, where is this? Now the one about uh, Celia, right? Celia is, Opening the door. Si ven la que les preguntaba al inicio, Celia is opening the door. Okay, Celia is opening the door. What else? Uh, another one, Celia is carrying. Celia is carrying a bag. Va cargando un bolso, right? Celia is carrying a bag. Okay. Tienen que llevar, todas tienen que llevar, Celia is carrying. Okay. Celia is working. Algo que está haciendo. El, baby, el ING. Okay. Celia is carrying a bag. Eh, Celia is wearing... Celia is wearing a blouse, a red blouse, no, a green blouse. He's wearing a 
a green blouse. Say, carry it back, okay. Celia is. Celia is. Going into the bank. Okay, she's entering the bank. Celia is smiling. Okay, yes, and is smiling. Okay, good. Okay, as you put in skewers, okay, Victoria, uh, Victoria is sleeping. Okay, yes, Victoria is sleeping. You can say also Victoria is resting. Okay, Victoria is resting. Victoria is dreaming. Okay. So those are the different uh, activities that she's doing. Now you write sentences. Lo que se les ocurra. Viendo esas imágenes. Okay. You have uh, Marcos. Example, Marco is wearing a pajama. Está usando una pijama. Andre is, Andre is wearing a coat, a blue coat. Andre is sitting. Andre is working. Andre and then look at James and Anne. Victoria is sleeping in her bed. Yes, Victoria is sleeping. Okay. What else? Escriban algo que vean en su casa también. Por ejemplo, my dog is sleeping. Lo importante es practicar la estructura, ¿ok? My dog is sleeping. Marcos is in bed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Marcos is sleeping. ¿Ok? Recuerden de siempre usar el ING, un verbo. Eh, my, say my neighbor is listening to music. Okay, mi vecino está escuchando música. No es cierto, sino que yo estoy ahorita inventando. Okay, my cat is running. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. My father is sleeping now. Okay. There you go, there you go. Okay, it's okay, no problem, just me. Okay, my son is watching TV, my mother is cooking pancake. My sister is reading a book. Okay. Sam, si me puede decir algunas ahí, dígalas.
Teacher, teacher. Ahorita estoy bastante con la pronunciación y, y los significados, tratando de memorizármelos porque no me los he memorizado todos. No problem. Vamos a ver, alguna que les haya Recuerde que lo que estamos haciendo es decir, por ejemplo, Samuel está hablando, Samuel está oyendo, mi perrito está durmiendo, mi, my sister is sleeping, eh, my sister is reading a book. Okay. Primero va la, la persona. Luego is, luego un verbo con ing, looking, smiling, working, eh, playing. My, my wife is looking the children. My wife is looking, okay, my, good. Looking at the children. Gran tarea, gran tarea esa. ¿Ah? <laughs> Gran tarea esa. Sí. Y se comió el ato otra vez, mire usted, pero está bien. Es que, ay, no. My wife is looking at the children. Okay. Ah, uh, at, at the children. At, eh, my wife is looking. Esto está mirando, pero también se puede decir my wife is looking. Looking after significa cuidar. Looking, uh, after after, after, after. looking after the children. Okay. Look, looking after the children. Uh, um, ser, sería que looking after se convertiría a cuidar, ya no sería ver. Exacto. Y si dice looking at, está mirando. Okay. Las dos son correctas. Solo que una es más específico que está cuidando. Y la otra lo está mirando. Y cuñado, ¿cómo se, cómo se dice? Que ese sí no me acuerdo. Cuñada. Cuñado. O cuñado. Pero si es cuñada, Ajá. sister. No, cuñado. Sister-in-law. Sister y se pone sister, una, un guión, después el in, después otro guión, y se pone L-A-W. Sister-in-law. Y si es cuñado, brother. Mm -hmm. brother Sería bro, brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, correct. Brother-in-law, I say, I am watching TV. My brother is studying for an exam. Okay, uh, I am watching TV. Good. My uncle is mowing the lawn. Ay, que, que hombre más dedicado. Necesito un tío así con... Que me haga cortar. Mañana me toca. Daisy, good, Daisy. Nice. What else? Uh, Andre is reviewing his bills. Ah, yes, Marta. Okay. I am doing my homework. I mean, in January, que estudiante más. Ya se ganó un punto más. What else? Step, step by step. Um, step in by the step. progress. In progress, the class. Um, en que él sería en escritura y pronunciación. Uh -huh. en writing, writing and pronunciation. Writing and pronunciation. <laughs> yes. <The lesson. laughs> no, it's okay. Step by step, little by little, someone. That's the, that's the one. Okay, my husband is sweeping. Okay, good, Daisy. Ya dice, usted tiene todo el mundo trabajando en la casa, ya vi. Qué chivo. Okay, uno tiene cortando la grama, el otro barriendo. That's nice. Okay, very good. <laughs> yes. That's good. O sea que si, si alguien la va a visitar a nosotros, va a poner a cocinar. The, the teacher is cooking. <laughs> the teacher is cooking. My husband is sweeping. My uncle is mowing the lawn. Uh, Oscar, lo vamos a poder hacer la, my, uh, <laughs> Oscar is washing the dishes. Ahí está, mire, Oscar. Vamos a poner a Oscar a trabajar también en la casa de Isi. Oscar. Ya me enojar Oscar conmigo. Oscar is washing the dishes. Bueno, pues ya le encontré qué hacer ahí. Está bueno, está bueno. Ok. But dice, look at this one, for example, washing the dishes. Es otra que pueden utilizar, right? Son cosas de la casa. My sister is wearing my heart. My garden, yes, my sister is watering, watering, Jenny, watering. Yes, regando, right? Yes. Oscar is cooking, you see? Ah, my goodness. 
No, it's okay, no problem. All right, good. Uh, washing the dishes. ¿Qué más se puede hacer en casa? Otros que hacer es, uh, ah, for example, uh, you can say, uh, my daughter, my daughter, is making her bed. This is my daughter's making her bed. Mi hija está arreglando su cama. Arreglando, making her bed. Okay. ¿Qué más? Otra palabra que le gustaría saber de, de qué hacer desde la casa, porque ahí se puede usar mucho estos verbos. My grandfather is dancing salsa. Wow, that's good, Jenny. Speed. Pure energy, nice. Okay, my grandfather is dancing salsa. Uh, my grandma. <laughs> my grandma is, uh, for example, uh, my grandma is, ah, yes, is talking. Esta se usa bastante, is talking on the phone. Okay, this one, you say, this. Okay, mi abuelita está hablando por teléfono, talking on the phone. Okay. Y si, si digo, in my home, um, clean the table. In my home? Uh -huh. clean, clean the table. King. Clean, clean, o sea, yo digo limpiar, pero no sé si se dice así específicamente. No, no, pero, no, sí está bien, pero ¿quién la está limpiando? Ah, no, esa fue una palabra que me vino a la mente, no es específicamente alguien. Ok, por ejemplo, you can say I am, digamos, I am, puede decir, ah, uh, I, am. I am cleaning the table. I am cleaning the table. Yo estoy, ah, limpiando, yo estoy la limpiando la mesa. limpiando la mesa. Aquí lo voy a escribir yo para que la vean los demás. I am cleaning the table. Uh -huh. I am exercising. Good, Jocelyn. Okay. Reina, I am. No, Reina, come on. Despierte. <laughs> I am sleeping, she right. <laughs> ¿Y cómo es que escribe dormida? <laughs> ah, sería bueno saber eso. Sí, mira, esa es una nueva habilidad de Reina. <laughs> I am sleeping. Is... ¿Cómo? It's impossible. Okay. My son is dreaming about me. Ay, ay, que está bonito eso, mirar. Solo que ponga dreaming, ¿ok? My son dreaming. is dreaming about me. Mi hijo está soñando conmigo. Hey, that's nice. Ok, this is good. Uh, let me see. I'm exercising. I am sleeping. Good. And one more. I am... Yeah, let me see what else, what else, what else, what else can we say? ¿Qué más podemos decir? And we are, okay, we are writing sentences. Estamos escribiendo oraciones. I am what? Está muriendo de risa, dice. Todos trabajan, man. Yeah, you, you, you're having fun. Ok, we are writing sentences. Ok, estamos, estamos escribiendo oraciones, right? Good. Eh, I'm having dinner. Ok, good. And I am... I... Ajá. ¿Quién dijo I, 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 I? My mother is cooking. Good. My cousin is taking a picture. Very good. Ok, you see, ya van saliendo más y más y más. Yo sí, entre más escribe, más ven y más ideas van saliendo. Ok. Perfect. Ok, people. Now, let me see. We have... Well, this is a nice practice. We are all working. Ah, Daisy, very good. We are all working. Man. Todos estamos trabajando. Yes. We are all working. We are all working. Eh, Lo 
Oh, el micrófono de alguien ahí creo que está encendido. Ok, we have this one. Eh, well, tomorrow we're going to have the knowledge check. Ok, eh, vamos a llegar a un knowledge check. Vamos a revisar esto el día de mañana. Básicamente, y luego tendríamos el video that he's play, uh, playing tennis, world power activities. Ya no vamos a hablar con deportes y juegos, ok. Vamos a hacer vocabulary para, for tomorrow. Y vamos a ver el video de Friends Across a Continent. Eh, y el jueves vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso, preguntas que tengan. Y vamos a darle una examinada al examen final. Ok, básicamente eso sería las últimas, ¿qué? Dos, dos clases que tenemos, ¿verdad? Que sería mañana miércoles y el día jueves. Entonces mañana casi terminamos el programa y el jueves tendríamos un, una sesión para que ustedes hagan preguntas, respuestas de lo que hemos visto y le damos una, un repaso al examen para ver si hay alguna inconveniencia o algo. Yes, Daisy, that's true. Sadly. Ya solo dos, pero miren qué rápido pasó el tiempo. 16 clases, un mes, como que sin nada. Ok, good. So we stop here. Vamos a, a quedarnos acá. And we will continue tomorrow, ok? So have a very good night. Go to rest. And see you good tomorrow. Night, ok, bye-bye. Ok, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.